short and sweet from our Italian referee, judges from Austria, Switzerland and Germany. Moment of truth this for Matthew Macklin. If he wins, he catapults himself into world class, really, because Asakainen does have a number five ranking with the IBF at the moment. And Ricky Hatton still contemplating his own boxing future, but set on being a major promoter as well. Macklin is in the green trunks, the British fighter, in his first European title fight. Asakainen, his sixth. Been there, done it. Does he get back the title tonight, I wonder? Well, Macklin will want to set the pace. He won't want to be backed up by such a, a big puncher. But he has the perfect style, Macklin. His chin's usually down and his hands are up. That's the kind and a bit easier to hit now than he was earlier in his career. Just getting that little bit older. The reflexes are slowing, but very dangerous with either hand. There goes the left hook from him. Big amateur pedigree as well, as a kind and 175 amateur bouts and boxed in three world championships. Been around this fellow. Just that little question of whether there are not a few too many miles on the clock. Macklin will hope so. Macklin's coming off a great win in a big Birmingham derby against Wayne Alcock. He stopped him in three rounds for the British middleweight title. Macklin has started quite sharply. Most of Asakainen's jabs have fallen short. He's reaching the target with his own punches. So good, positive start from Macklin. Steady, but positive. Looks a far more rounded pro these days, Macklin. Much, much more comfortable since he moved up to middleweight as well. Really struggled to make 11 stone. I think it cost him that night in that thriller he had with Jamie Moore, who dominated early, but then ran out of gas big time. Well, again, Asakainen's lead's falling short. Macklin finding the body, and again, switching to the head. Good start from Macklin. Oh, and a left hook from Macklin. And down goes Asakainen in the only round of the fight. Not sure he knows where he is. He's really dazed there and disorientated, trying to convince the referee he can go on. He's gone, Ian. He's gone. His eyes have gone. They're staring into space. One more shot will do this. Fantastic shot here for Macklin. Asakainen still looks like the legs are made of wood at the moment. His eyes are in orbit. He's ready to be taken here. Macklin can win early. He's still got, what, 40 seconds left of the opening round. Can't continue. Oh, legs are gone. Two, three, four, five, Asakainen six, might not get through this. Seven, eight, and he stopped all over in a round. It is waved off. What a sensational win for Matthew Macklin. European champion in the first round and catapults himself into world class. Tremendous result, tremendous performance. Right from the off, Macklin looked solid, he looked compact and he looked confident as well. I was saying when the reflexes are not quite there, fighters are caught more easily as is the case with Asakaina and you take the full force of the punch and the first punch that caused the knockdown, a beautiful left hook, Asakaina never recovered from it, never, never given time to recover from it. Jim, was the stoppage premature? No, I don't think so, his legs were gone I mean, I, I think if the, if the second knockdown hadn't occurred I think the referee was maybe just stepping in to stop it then if he'd managed to keep upright instead of going down for the second time, I think the referee, with the look on his face, was stepping in then. Asikainen's eyes were staring into space, his legs were gone. The referee's job is to stop a fight before a fighter's hurt. It was obvious Asikainen had not thrown off the effects of the punch. It was a beautiful punch that caused it. I do not think that the, 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 it was a premature stoppage. Definitely not. Asakainen did look as if he was all over the place. Here's the punch that started it all off for Matthew Macklin. I mean, Macklin was tight, he was compact, he missed with that one, but look at that. Bang on the chin, full force of the punch, a beautiful delivered left hook, and look at his eyes here. He is gone when he got back up again. To his credit, he's brave enough, but he was staring into space. First left hook missed, but there you go. Beautiful punch. 
and the weight he collapsed to the floor look at the time he's taking he didn't roll onto his knees and then got up he was pushing himself up you could see how badly stunned he was that was a cracking punch and he never recovered from that shot his legs were never right again his eyes were never right again and I think the referee did the right thing we'll get a look now at the second knockdown I had the impression the referee was thinking about stepping in because he was been caught with solid punches he was gone that was just pulled him away there but look at the way the legs have collapsed look as he stands up you think he was on stilts as he stands there the referee's given him every opportunity he's looking straight into his eyes wants to continue but no, I think that you can see how he's still stunned. He's still stunned. Still legs are unsteady. Referee, for me, did the right thing. Looked completely disorientated. He was looking around at a kind of. He did protest after the stoppage, but these, it was right hands that did it in the end. But I think look you're right, Jimmy. Here, all look, came look from at that the legs here. Up. Look, look at these legs. He was all over the place when he got up for the second time showed tremendous courage, wanted to continue, but look at the way the legs have collapsed. He gets up here, and look, look, he's on stilts there. No purchase, no strength in the legs whatsoever. Allow this man to continue. Serious injury could have occurred. Referee did the right thing. What a night for Matthew Macklin. He thought it was going to be really hard work tonight against a proven opponent, but he's done it in double quick time. It's the biggest night of his career so far, and it could lead to, well, who knows what at world level. In one round, Matthew Macklin follows his British title win by now becoming the champion of Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 34 seconds of round number one, referee Miratori has stopped the contest in his opinion. Asakainen was in no position to continue. Your winner, and he is the new middleweight champion of Europe from Birmingham, Matthew Macklin. Your appreciation, please.